Mm, hello, greetings, everybody. My name is James. I am from the internet. And today, we are following the continuing saga of Donald Trump riding off into the distance of what I hope is an extremely large, extremely strong, extremely understanding horse. Sorry about that horse. So as Donald Trump continues to flail about uncontrollably, and as the news gets worse, uh, that sort of thing is trickling down to his followers. In case you hadn't heard, the margin of victory in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin are now large enough that Trump can ask for a recount, but his campaign would have to pay for the recount. And as we know, Donald Trump don't pay for shit out of his own pocket, and his campaign is dead broke, which is why he's still running and sending 30 emails a day, begging the MAGA people for cash. But, predictably, the MAGA people, his bread and butter, his core supporters... They will follow him right to the gates of hell, mimic everything he does, and applaud it as genius. So as Donald Trump continues to figure out a way to get earned media credit without actually appearing on camera, with the Chiron underneath him, currently losing to Joe Biden, his supporters are going to go out and pick up the slack. That's right. This weekend, everybody, it's the Million MAGA March in Washington, D.C. This weekend. Now, as MAGA stands for Make America Great Again, this is the Million Make America Great Again March, which makes absolutely no sense. Also, I'm fairly certain this will not make America great again, and there sure as shit won't be a million of them. But they're going to give it a shot anyway. And that's right. If you want more information about this, you can go to ProudBoysUSA.com. You remember the Proud Boys, the white nationalist group that Donald Trump would not decry during his last debate with Joe Biden. And then he told them to stand by. Yeah, well, somebody must have gotten an order because it looks like they're mobilizing and they're bringing all their friends with them. And everybody is just coming to the table with this crazy, crazy artwork and all these weird ideas and all these different groups and hashtags. It's, uh, it's chaos. So, in many ways, this would be the appropriate response for Trumpian Trumpers. It's going to be chaotic and ineffectual. And will lead to failure. Keeping the brand alive, that's what we like to see. Stop the steal! Woo! Yeah. Damn you, Joe Biden, trying to steal the election by having people's votes counted. You're the worst, brother. <laughs> So I want to take a minute, tell you about the Million MAGA March, what to expect, what kind of hilarity has already ensued, and then of course, as I always do, I'm going to show you the absolute jewel on this crown of white nationalist shit. So buckle up, buttercup, here we go. Here's all the information on the MAGA rallies planned in D.C. this weekend. Woo! That's right, MAGA rallies, plural. Several pro-Trump and white nationalist groups are stirring chatter on social media about supposed rallies in D.C. this Saturday in an effort to further Trump's baseless claims about a stolen election. From their online promotion, the events are focused on protesting President-elect Joe Biden's victory and falsely claiming that Trump's second term was stolen through fraudulent voting. Even though both Democratic and Republican election officials in dozens of states, plural, have found no evidence of voter fraud or other irregularities, that influenced the outcome of the election. Your reminder that Donald Trump and his legal team are now an astounding 0 for 12 on all their attempts to decertify elections or have votes thrown out at various county and state courthouses. 0 for 12. Basically, Donald Trump and his legal team are the New York Jets of lawsuits. The only difference is the Jets still get to draft players once a year and have a chance of getting better. Donald Trump's just going to keep going right downhill. It's unclear how many people will actually turn up in D.C. for Saturday's rally, given that protests associated with white nationalists have tended to have a limp turnout in the city, dwarfed in size by counter-protests. On Wednesday, a Stop the Steal demonstration outside Fox's D.C. office drew a crowd of four people. Total. Can you really call that a crowd? Four people? That... No. That's, that's not a crowd. 
Moreover, the planning for the rally seems to be haphazardly organized across different online pages, some of which have been taken down by Facebook. Here's what we know so far. Who is protesting? Well, it's the Million MAGA March, the March for Trump, or Stop the Steal DC. The Facebook page for Women for America First, a protest group that's held anti-impeachment and anti-lockdown demonstrations, originally spread March for Trump information online. The organization's event page, which currently has 92 confirmed attendees, states that they created another page for the rally named Stop the Steal, which was promptly shut down by Facebook. Their Eventbrite link is also broken. <clears throat> Much like their president. Some prominent conservative figures like Nicholas Fuentes, a white nationalist, have promoted Saturday's rally, and InfoWars' Alex Jones is supposedly organizing a Stop the Steal caravan that's set to make its way to D.C. on Friday night ahead of Saturday's rally. Good to see that Alex Jones took some time off from, uh, you know, his busy schedule to uh, hop in his car and drive to D.C. so he can run around with a megaphone and yell at 80 people that don't hate him. <laughs> You know, perhaps I should have gone with the Thousand MAGA March. I know it's not quite as catchy, but it'll probably be a little closer to uh, factually correct. So with all these uh, social media pages getting taken down and their Eventbrite link being broken, the white nationalists, again, in very Trumpian fashion, went out and did what Donald Trump would do. They made some propaganda that was so hideous that when they released it, the mainstream media would talk about it, and thus they could strum up some business. Proud Boys promote Million Mega March with video featuring neo-fascist anthem. Because of course they did, and of course it did. A promotional video for a November 14th rally sponsored by the Proud Boys at the White House has been released on the Telegram account of neo-fascist Brian James that includes the anthem of a white nationalist social networking project. Hang on, I'm going to do my best to not uh, rock my shocked face as we go through this, okay? The rally is referred to in the video as Million MAGA March, and the plan is for those supporting Donald Trump as he contests his defeat on Election Day to President-elect Joe Biden to march from the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. to the White House on Saturday, November 14th. Curiously, no organization or person is listed on the Twitter account for the event. But James and at Noble Lead, the name of Proud Boy leader Henry Enrique Torrio on Parler, are listed as contact persons on Telegram flyers. Meanwhile, prominent neo-fascists, such as anti-Semitic commentator Nicholas Fuentes and propagandist Cassandra Fairbanks, have promoted the event on Twitter. But the video that James posted to promote the event features what is called the Manderbund Anthem. Do, do you know what that is? Because, uh, you know, I'll tell you, right? Because I'm that guy. The Manor Bund derived its form from historical accounts of institutionalized pederasty amongst the classical Greeks, specifically the use of older men making unwanted sexual advances towards young boys as both an introduction to sexuality and as a means of bonding through a shared breaking of a taboo. While this might have been seen as groundbreaking philosophy in the early 1900s, today it's recognized to be both child rape and the infrastructure of grooming. Well played, Proud boys. The product is essentially a loose confederation of small local cells of fascist men where they can bond and network away from prying eyes. James, who is the leader of the Proud Boys Indiana chapter, is also known as a neo-Nazi leader and organizer who founded the neo-Nazi hate group Vinlanders Social Club, as well as the American Guard, which was formed with other neo-fascists. Are you starting to get the idea of who these people are? And they're attracting run-of-the-mill MAGA people and trying to get them to come to D.C. to march around with them. They're, they're literally fascists and Nazis. Like, they're not, they say the quiet part out loud. They're not hiding it. He prefers to call himself a civic nationalist who, unlike ethno-nationalists, are open to associating with men from other races. Despite the terminology, proud boys have a history of associating regularly with white nationalists, and James himself has worked with them even while he says he is no longer a part of his old circles. See, this is what happens when you form a hate group and then try to make it a, you know, not totally hate hate group, is that the other more hatey groups further to the edge of you just go and just pull you right over. 
Proud Boys infighting sees leading member form breakaway group to fight white genocide. You know, because the brown people are committing white genocide. It's, it's white genocide. Infighting is broken out between two leading members of the Proud Boys group, with one announcing he will be taking control of the far-right organization to address white genocide and the failures of multiculturalism. White nationalist Kyle Chapman, who set up the tactical defense arm of the Proud Boys, the Fraternal Order of Alt Knights, has criticized the group's chairman, Enrique Torrio, while announcing a so-called rebranding of the organization. It's the Proud Boys. I mean, yeah, they could probably use an image adjustment. I mean, even Identity Europa changed their name after uh, one of their members drove into a crowd in Charlottesville and killed Heather Heyer. Yes, they decided that was a good time to rebrand. So maybe, just maybe, if you're the Proud Boys and you got called out on national TV by the president-elect, I don't know, maybe a rebranding might be in your future. Hopefully they're going to, you know, tone it down, become a little more palatable to, you know, the mainstream. It'll really help with their, their membership and, you know, get the, get the dues up, get a little money in the treasury there for their ever-increasing bail fund needs. So let's see. Writing on encrypted messaging app Telegram, Chapman used racial slurs against Torrio and other neo-Nazi rhetoric while announcing that the grifting leaders had been deposed and the group would now be renamed the Proud Goys. The term goy, a Hebrew word for non-Jewish person, is sometimes used by white supremacists to signal their anti-Semitic beliefs. Shocker, right? This is where we are in America, people. Even mid-range racists can't go out and just have an average mid-range racist time without crazy accelerationist white nationalists coming out of the woodwork and promising to ratchet things up. So, it's very American. It's peak on brand. It's, oh, what? Oh, 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 oh yeah. That's, that's fair. That's, yeah. It's America in 2020, people. Quote, due to the recent failure of Proud Boy Chairman Enrique Torrio to conduct himself with honor and courage on the battlefield, it's been decided that I, Kyle Chapman, reassume my post as president of the Proud Boys, effective immediately. Quote, we will no longer cuck to the left by appointing token Negroes as our leaders. We will no longer allow homosexuals or other, quote, undesirables into our ranks. We will confront these Zionist criminals who wish to destroy our civilization. We recognize that the West was built by the white race alone, and we owe nothing to any other race. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Chapman, president of the Proud Boys. So as you can see, even the Proud Boys have gone mask off and they're going to go full Adam Waffen. The next time somebody gives you the speech, oh, there aren't any real Nazis, there aren't any real fascists, you're just a liberal and you like to call everybody a Nazi because you're a snowflake. Yeah, please just remind them that not Nazi groups like the Proud Boys, are being run by self-admitted white nationalists. I told you before, there's two months left to go until Biden assumes the presidency. And until then, things are going to get increasingly more unstable. Well, the epitome of unstable is a bunch of white nationalists deciding they're going to go running to the rescue of their president, the king of the white nationalists. Whew. 60 something days left, people. Keep your eye on the prize. I'm James. I'm out. Peace.